Hi, today's book is The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. I'm sure you've heard of the film, um, but this is actually one of those books that in, is interesting for a couple of different reasons. One is that the main character has mental health issues, so is an unreliable narrator. Um, you can't get all of the thought processes, obviously, in a film um, that you can get from a book. So you, in the book, you really get inside the character and understand much better, I think, than you do in the film, what he's all about. Um, there are two reviews that I'd like to address on Goodreads. One is from Natalie, who only gave it two stars, so she wasn't a fan. She said, it's tedious, the plot is obvious, I'm just trying to get through it as soon as possible. Didn't agree. Um, I think that we have to bear in mind that there will be differences between the plot of the book and the plot of the film, because the film is typically just using the book and the characters as a springboard. Um, and very often the writer, the screenwriter, will depart from what actually happens in the book. And that is the case here. This, the book is not the same as the film. There are similarities. You'll definitely recognize it, but it's not the same. And then Keeley gives it three stars. And she says, I love this book. Um, she tore through it. She said at first she was a little put off by Pat's childlike language, which I can relate to that. You definitely have to... Um, understand that it's written in this character's voice and so you just have to go with that uh, but it's really um, it really is uplifting and it's and it's heartwarming but it's it's a real portrayal of someone's suffering so I think it's something that leaves us knowing more than we did before don't forget go onto our Facebook page and let us know what you think <laughs>